What's up and welcome to the Blueprint by Dane, where I'm looking to design a roadmap to a healthier, more fulfilled life in real time. And while I'm doing this YouTube journey, sometimes I have to give myself a pep talk. And one of the things that I had to come to the realization of is watching some of my videos from earlier and cringing just a bit. Some of my ideas were very good, but they weren't executed very well. So if you've watched any of those videos, I appreciate you more than you know. But I had to have a pep talk with myself in the mirror. And what I told myself was, you're not a bad communicator. You're not a bad orator. You're just tiptoeing around certain subjects because you don't want to make mistakes. You don't want to step on any toes or offend anybody on the internet. Well, as many people as there are, that's how many opinions there are on any given subject. Like the old African proverb says about the three blind men who saw an elephant or encountered an elephant, I should say. One of them felt the skin, one of them felt the tusk, one of them felt the tail, and each one of them had a different perspective on what the element, what the elephant was. And that's sort of how this internet thing goes. I can't tiptoe around subjects. I've got to come and give you my opinion and come hella high water. I've got to stand on whatever it is I say here. I don't come with the intention of causing offense, but at the same time, nobody's perfect and I don't come on this internet trying to be perfect. But my videos have to improve. I have to figure out a way to stand out from the crowd. You know, sometimes I get on Reddit and I search through the new YouTuber uh, Reddit subreddit. And in that subreddit, there's always someone there trying to give people encouragement. Invariably, there's always someone underneath the subreddit or underneath the person giving encouragement trying to discourage people who are actually getting something out of the post that was posted by someone who meant to encourage. And the fact of the matter is, they'll come up with new terms in order to do it. I encountered a brand new term that I had never heard today, which was called survivorship bias, where people focus on the people who actually break through and make it in any given industry. And they ignore the fact that there are Tons of people, tons of stories, tons of situations where people did not make it to their intended goal. I, for one, am still one who believes that the only way for you to fail is to quit. Now, with the survivorship bias, I'm supposed to focus on the ones who didn't make it. But did those people put in the work that they were supposed to, to reach their intended goal? Did they practice? Did they face rejection over and over again? Did they look foolish from time to time when they posted videos or whatever was a part of their process towards the goal they were trying to get to? I don't know. That's why I can't focus on that. The only thing I can focus on is doing the work, showing up, getting my shots in, and taking the repercussions of whatever my actions are. In this case, my actions are going to be to post videos. Some of them will be bad, but I promise the intention is to get better and better with each and every video. So if you're interested in seeing this growth process, I suggest you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, like the video if you feel so inclined. But either way, I'm showing up often and I'm showing up getting better with each time I post. That was the pep talk I had to have with myself in order to keep going. 